Hi, my name is Joe Janowski and I'm the Director of Competition for Supercarts USA. We're here in sunny Florida, Homestead, here for round two of the Scusa Winter Series. We've had a lot of questions, a lot of comments, and a lot of misunderstandings about how we officiate. And so when I came into the Scusa program a couple of years ago, my first job really was to go, how are we officiating events? Why are things the way that they are and how can we make them better? The reality of it is, is that I'm really a lot more racer than I am technically an official. So what I really want to do is I, I've taken the process over the last couple of years to really think about how do we change the way we officiate? How can I officiate better? How can my staff officiate better? And how can we go through these processes and systems to really make sure that everybody can come to Scusa and race within a box that we've kind of created where everybody knows what you can and can't do because we don't want to over officiate and you don't want to under officiate. So it's a really, really fine line. But let's go, we're going to go ahead and go through that process kind of from A to Z so everybody can see how we go through that process with the team that we have. So the question I get a lot is when you came in, Joe, what were the things that changed? And when I, when I first started, I, I told Tom and I told Stan, I don't want to be the traditional race director, which is the guy running around with his hair on fire, making every decision and nobody else can make any decisions without that guy. And quite frankly, it's inefficient. It doesn't work very well. Business world doesn't operate that way. Why are we operating national events that way? So I came in and basically over the course of the last two years, I've pretty much redeveloped the entire way that the SCUSA officiating system works. And we started off with me not being a traditional race director. So being a director of competition means that I'm actually over and above all of it. So think of me as kind of a CEO of a company and I have all these different divisions. So we'll have our tech, we'll have scales, uh, we've got scoring, timing and scoring. We'll have our video program, I have all of my on-track stuff. Uh, so all of those things. So really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm finding great people, I'm putting them in their positions and I'm letting them do their work. So we have an entire team of people that are making active decisions as we go. And, we, and the great part of it is, this has really started to attract a lot of top talent. So we get people that come in from all forms of professional motorsports. And uh, we get, we've had people come in from other karting organizations. We've done a lot of stuff and this is really starting to take on a look that's a lot more similar to an IndyCar or an IMSA or a NASCAR type of race control than your typical uh, karting event normally is ran. All right, so what is the process? I mean, how does SCUSA uh, officiate a race event? How are we utilizing the assets that we have? And I'm kind of rounding my way into getting into our video system. So really where it starts is out here on the racetrack. I've got up to 20 cameras and they'll be placed all over the track, multiple angles typically. I try to get each corner with at least two angles. It takes us about three days to set this up the way that we want it. We have all the things that we can do. We can move them around, we can raise them, we can lower them, we can zoom in, we can zoom out. And it's been a lot of fun learning how to do this and how to maximize that video system. We then, what we do, but this really starts with people, right? So all good things really ultimately start with people. So I have five to six marshals, depending on the event, depending on the course, uh, that are gonna be up on the racetrack. They're gonna be in lifts. They've got this great, beautiful view over the racetrack and they're really responsible for a certain area. What they'll do is they'll do one of two things. They'll identify an incident that happens in one of the corners and they'll have all of the information about it and they'll simply report it into our race control. Or two, they'll be like, hey, I saw something. I'm not exactly sure what I saw and I need race control. I need you guys in video to take a look at it and see what we got. So why don't you follow me in and we're gonna go check out race control right now. Okay, we made it into race control. And this is really the heart of the SCUSA operation in terms of officiating and kind of moving our way through the program. At the far end down there, we have our scoring system and we have two scorers that are there working full time on redundant loops. We have our course control that's not only being able to watch what's happening on the racetrack, but they're also able to watch through our live feeds as well. So we can get both views at the same time for that person. And that person's really in charge of making sure you guys are going around the racetrack in the proper way, yellow flags, red flags, those kinds of things. But then we end up with our video system. And when it comes to penalties, that's where the buck stops. So basically, as I noted before, we have our marshals on the racetrack. When they make a call, that comes into our video system. They record each one, they go in, they find it, they review it, and then they make a decision. 
do we assess a penalty or do, do we not assess a penalty? If a penalty is assessed, they go onto our SCUSA app, they assess the penalty and away we go. If not, well, we put in our docs, no further action, and then that penalty goes away and it's not a penalty anymore. So that's basically the fundamentals of how the SCUSA officiating system works. It begins on the racetrack, it flows through our marshalling system, it comes in for double redundancy with a team of people here working on our video area, and then we end up with a penalty or not a penalty.